Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. When police served search and arrest warrants at a McRoberts residence where this was allegedly occurring, they came away nearly empty-handed. The warrants were served at the residence of Marty Fleming. Letcher County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Alicia Congleton said she received a tip about dogs living in cramped, filthy conditions and investigated the tip, finding nearly a dozen dogs in those conditions on Fleming's property. We came up here and done a welfare check on the dogs on the 16th. Uh, the dogs were living in horrid conditions, walking in their own feces. Um, one cage in particular uh, was extremely small. It had two dogs in it. The dogs couldn't adequately move. Uh, once I advised the subjects, Marty Fleming and Teddy Fleming, that they were what they were doing was wrong, they asked me to leave their property and to come back with a search warrant. When deputies and an officer from Kentucky Fish and Wildlife returned on Thursday with warrants, they found that the dogs had allegedly been removed from the property. Congleton said there were also apparent efforts to conceal the alleged poor conditions. He's obviously moved them for some reason, like he felt like he was doing something wrong. Uh, every animal that was up here the other day has been moved or tampered with. For instance, there's a wallaby over there, like a kangaroo type animal that was living in a space extremely small, about three foot by three foot or less. Uh, since I left the other day, he's built a big fence around it. Uh, but the dogs definitely didn't have adequate space to move or exercise in. And uh, it was a what, what we see over here, and have taken pictures of to, today and the other day, is what you would see in a puppy mill abuse case. And uh, I'm not going to put up with it. Officers, however, were prepared to make arrests against Marty Fleming and his father, Teddy Fleming. Marty Fleming was nowhere to be found, but Teddy Fleming was arrested at the scene. Both men are facing charges of second-degree animal cruelty. Congleton said she also learned that a pet shop in Pikeville may have been dealing with Marty Fleming in the purchase of dogs kept at Fleming's property. While we're here today executing the warrants, we had a couple uh, bystanders come by who uh, say that they sold him an English bulldog the other day that he hasn't paid them for and refuses to pay for. Also advised that they were uh, approached by Marty Fleming and Drew Justice, who is the owner of Bella Pooch in Pikeville. Um, the, uh, the, the individuals that stopped by here earlier said that, uh, I guess he was here inquiring about some dogs for the purpose of breeding. Here on this property, Drew Justice was accompanied by uh, and with Marty Fleming. EKB News reached out to Bella Pooch owner Drew Justice, but received no response. No animals were removed from Marty Fleming's property on Thursday. Congleton said the investigation is ongoing. Reporting in McRoberts for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.